Okay, uh, this is your crazy widower, aka the next president of Big D, uh, the next president of the United States, and the host of the Big D Zone. Welcome to Big D Country, by the way. Anchor's way, welcome to Big D Country. I don't know, this day's been so crazy. After this whole fiasco with the store and everything, then they found out that I had a bill of $250 for one ambulance ride. And I got four. Four stuff. No drink mix. But there is some good news. There is some good news in this uh, silver lightning of nightmare. UPS was going to strike, but the uh, but the two had two had cooler heads, and they finally able to reach a deal. And so at least the UPS strike has been avoided, uh, just like the the uh, the railroad strike had been avoided earlier during the year. Uh, the only strike that we have now is both the writers and the actors union. That still had to be weeded out. Uh, but this is good news. This is good news because it affects a lot of people. It's affecting a lot of business. And will definitely create turmoil for the economy. This is huge news. And I have to. It is my responsibility as a podcaster uh, to bring you the story. Uh, not only is it, uh, I only usually do important stories that is important to me. I don't go into everything else, but this is important. Not only important to me, but also important to the people that still live in this house, probably uh, once I gone. Okay, so let me read you the backstory first, and I don't know how long is that going to be, but I will read you two stories, and I will link both of them on the marquee after I'm d- done, as soon as this uh, still will be able to to go down if it will help me. Okay, there we are. Okay. So the first one is from Rutgers. Uh Rutgers and they had to start all over again. Come on. That, was that even necessary? Okay. Uh U uh US Teamsters demand final contract offer from UPS now. This was like uh June twenty eighth. It is now uh we're now in July twenty fifth. So this was about a month ago. But uh, this was it. Oh wow! It's in L.A. Wow, the greedy state and the street state that calls St. Louis trash. But it is corrupted, but it's not trash. I still like the sports team and some of the uh, uh, and some of the attractions. But it's it is corrupted though. It is corrupted. But anyway, uh, June twenty eighth, the the union representing roughly three three hundred. And forty thousand U.S. drivers, uh, package handlers, and loaders at the United States Parcel Service or UPS on Wednesday demanded that UPS make this last best offer, final uh, last and final offer, no later than June thirtieth. Okay, that has come and gone. The International Brotherhood of Teamsters said it walked away from the national bargaining table on. Washington, D.C. on Wednesday after the company's uh, latest proposal, including uh, muscular races and wage uh, and uh, wage cuts and to traditional cost of living adjustment. Yeah, because especially what, uh, what's going on now, and I just talked about it earlier, about we lost, uh, we lost buying power. We don't have buying power. Most of the, most of the money will go towards transportation. And, yeah, so a lot of people that don't have cars, they usually have bus fees. Oh, and a lot of UPS, they don't let you use the phone. So how the hell are you going to take the Lyft or, or, or Uber and then get to work back and forth? I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you can't even have a phone. Because I know I used to work at UPS when I used to live in New Jersey for a while. Because it was part time and part time, and they did have benefits though. They did have benefits for part time, but you had to work till ninety days, and I never made it. I never made it. I mean, I never made it. But nonetheless, this is today. This is just just happened. It was just broadcasting. I was in the middle of playing games, and I, when I saw it after I came back from the fiasco, uh, well, I wasn't playing games, but I was hearing. Uh, the rest of the pressure up marathon that they have going on. Uh, but UPS and Teepsters reach a labor deal, potentially avoiding a crippling strike. And like I just said, it would have been 
it would have been really bad. And wh why is that? Why I can't? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna say why I can't copy and paste. Ah! It won't let me copy the main news. Wow! It won't let me copy. I wanted to try to. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Oh. I hate it when it does that. It, it wants me to work, and then it won't let. It won't let me. It will not let me. Oh, where is the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! This is not it. This is not the story. Okay, this is it. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll just name it tomorrow. It's on the marquee. What the hell with it? Okay, so you you UPS and uh, Teamster reach a labor union uh, labor deal, potentially avoiding a crippling strike. And I'm only going to read parts of the story. I'll put the rest on the marquee. But this is in Philadelphia. Now that's even better. Uh, UPS and the Teamsters have reached a tentative deal on a new contract, potentially avoiding a strike. A labor stoppage could have started as soon as. Next week, let me read. Let me read this again to let you know I did not stutter. A labor stoppage could have started as soon as next week. So that could have been started next Monday, next Monday, and it would have crippled. I repeat, it would have crippled U.S. supply chain. And been a multi billion dollar hit to the. Co I will say this again and I will read this again until I'm blue in the face. A labor stoppage could have started as soon as next week and crippled U.S. supply chain and been a multi billion dollar hit to the economy. We we changed we changed the game, battling it out day and night to make sure our members won an agree uh, an agreement that pays strong wages, reward their labor, and doesn't require a single concession. Now that that, that I wish that was Congress, I wish that was Congress because they they know how to stress people out. I wish that was Congress. Anyway, uh, the Teachers Union President uh, Dean O'Brien said. In a statement, the contract sets a new standard in the labor movement and raises the bar for all workers. The deal comes as the American labor movement has grown, increasing, and energized and empowered the pandemic sent lower and middle class U.S. workers pay a surge for the first time in decades. But contract workers missed out on much of those gains. That's why unionized, uh, union, union, unionized actors, writers, and I just uh, wait a minute. Nurses and that teacher has all has recently gone on strike. Nurses and that teacher too. I didn't see that, but that that's why they have recently gone on strike. And I wish I would have been able to go on strike to live. This is what it seemed like what I had to do. Only get twenty three dollars for food stamps, and only buy me four goddamn things. Well, at least by myself. Or for myself, and UPS workers and all the auto workers. Oh, oh, all the workers would also have walked out too. Oh, that would have been bad. Wow. Uh, together, we reach a win-win agreement on the issues that are important to the Teamsters' relate uh, uh, leadership and uh, employees, and to UPS and our customers. Uh, UPS uh, CEO um, Carl Tom, Tom said. In the statement, this agreement continues to reward UPS full and part-time employees with industry-leading pay and benefits while retaining the flexibility we had. We need to stay uh, comp uh, competitive, uh, serve our customers, and keep our business strong. So I'm not going to read the rest of the story, but I am going to get a better picture for the marquee. And there you go. So I will be put posting the story. I don't know how I'm gonna get the story because um, they didn't want me to get the uh, story for the. Yeah, they didn't want me to get the story 
for the uh for the marquee and I'll have to just name it something else. But uh Oh it's not it's not all there. Okay. Okay, here it is. Here's the other story. Cause I'm gonna put I'm gonna put both of the stories that is on there about what I read at Renters and then what I read off of uh CNN. So there you go. So that is the big story. Uh, a, a devastating uh, economical strike has been avoided. It would have been terrible. I mean, you think the Armageddon food, food uh, uh, freezer was bad at the store? I sent you, and I'm still kicking myself for not taking a picture. I'm kicking my, I'm kicking my ass off for not uh, getting a picture. This is going crazy, y'all. This is really going crazy. But thank God the US, UPS strike has been avoided. Thank God. And I will be doing another video either later tonight or to or tomorrow. If I don't do it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. Alright. Super DJ. Uh stop the world, I wanna get off.